I am like a kid on Christmas morning because today is the first Sunday of NFL football. The 2022 season officially uh, kicked off on Thursday. The Bills destroyed the uh, Los Angeles Rams. <coughs> Rams. Look, Mom, my voice cracked. The Rams. The Rams lost. Uh, but today, the Green Bay Packers take on the Minnesota Vikings. Kickoff is it's in about 30 minutes. I'm going to hammer out this shave and go watch the game. And hopefully get a victory over in Minnesota. Uh, the Bears playing the 49ers. I think when I saw the last, that game was pretty close. Anyways, if you've watched this channel at all, you know I'm a huge football fan. So, uh, in my last video... I ended it going, well, I don't have any new gear to show for the next video. False. Um, I've got some gear that's not at all new to um, my den or not at all new to the like the wet shaving community. But what I do have uh, to show off today um, is Bay Rum by Colonel Conk. Um, if you remember, I did a video a while back uh, about a year ago, and it was with the lime. That was one of the first shave soaps that I had ever used because it was cheap, and I bought it, and it was really good. Uh, but this is the Bay Rum, and again, comes in a little puck like this. Um, I've used it a few times. This puck is about half the size, maybe, of what it is if you buy it brand new. Uh, still a great value, though. It's only like four bucks, maybe, or even that, three dollars, something like that. Uh, but anyways, I um, I like this scent. I like bay rums. This bay rum ha has some clove to it, some definite clove. So I know that like Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements um, prides themselves on leaving clove out of bay rum, but that's not the case with this one. Um, scent strength is so-so. It's not super high intensity, but still uh, a good bay rum soap. Um, the brush I'll be using is the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, uh, the Green Ray. Um, Green Bay Packers play today, so might as well use that green and gold or green and yellow brush that I have. Um, and then, okay, so then the bowl that I'm lathering in is this ceramic bowl. I've used this in a video or two. I can't remember how many videos. Pretty good bowl. It's a knockoff of the um, Captain's Choice ceramic bowl. I bought it on Amazon for like 12, 13 bucks, and it has been very good. It's very much worth the money. Uh, the razor that I'm using, this is probably a huge mistake because uh, I've got a couple of days growth, as you can see. I'm going to use that weird Russian razor. I did a video on this about a year ago, a little over a year ago. And it uses a total of two blades, two DE blades. You snap one in half, and then, um, and then you, you layer on this shim. You'll see. I'll do it on camera. But it's a weird razor, and it doesn't give me the best shave. So this is probably going to hurt or just not be the best shave. Um, and so the blades I'll be using, if you remember, the, the blade I'm going to split, the half blade, is the Lord Blade that I used. I think I used it last. Yeah, my last video was a Lord Blade. So I'm gonna split that one in half and that's gonna be the half blade. And then a lattice, um, since I'm using a Russian razor, I thought I'd use a Russian uh, blade. So the lattice blade will be the full blade, first use of that blade. And then the aftershave that I'll be using um, will be Sweet Rum, I've got it right here. Uh, Clubman Reserve. Sweet rum. And again, since I'm using a bay rum soap, I'm using a bay rum, uh, or not a bay rum, but a sweet rum aftershave. I've used this a lot. This is one of my favorite aftershaves. Uh, it's got kind of a funky plastic smell or just a funky smell to it when you first use it, but then that mellows out. And my wife actually really likes how this aftershave smells. So that's everything that I'm using. Um, let's go ahead and go down to the lather and razor assembly. Okay, I've got everything set up right here. Um, I've got my soap, it's in my bowl. I've splashed a little bit of water on it just to kind of soften it or, I don't know, just to kind of activate it, get things started. 
But I'm actually going to set that aside because I'm going to do the, I'll do the blade first in the razor. Set that off. You can see I've got my brush over here and my Texas mug. I'll set this off to the side too. So the blade I'm going to snap is the Lord blade. So I'll set it in some paper here. I'll try to do this on camera here. Okay. Fold it up. You always want to do it with paper. Hopefully this works. There we go. Snap. Okay. And lay it back out. Boom. Two half blades. Just like that. Okay, now this razor. <laughs> yeah, this razor is not not the greatest. Let me show you here. I, you know, I did this. It's been over a year, almost two years maybe since I've used this razor. Let's see if I even remember how to do it. Um, first, I think I put these. Hmm. <laughs> Let me remember. Is this going first? Is it that? And then this? And then the half blades? It's gotta be. Like that. You know what? I need to I need to go back to my old video. <laughs> I yeah, let me pause. <laughs> I'm gonna pause and go back to my old video. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I watched the video, I've got it now. So I think I kind of had it right. You do half blade first. This is so confusing. Half blade first, like that. Then you do the weird metal shim, like that. Then you do the full blade, like that. And then you do the final bottom piece, the black piece, like that. Okay, now you gotta hold it up. Yeah, I think it even, it's hard to like make sure that it all lined up. Okay, it's lined up now. It was a huge pain, but I got the blades lined up in this razor. Okay, let's go back now to the bowl of lather. Okay. The brush has been soaking for way longer than it needs to. I'm actually going to move the mug off so I don't spill water. Wring out the brush a little bit and start the lather. I'm essentially just going to kind of load off the puck. Whoa, that was loud. And try to also get some down on the bottom of the bowl. I use more than I probably need since this is a shave video. Um, I want to get adequate amount of lather. A, a splash of water. And then I'll actually probably lift the puck out of there. Yeah, that's enough. More than enough. Hold on. Let's see if I can reach around my tripod. Rinse off the puck real quick. Okay. There. a lot of work this this shave has a lot of work okay now i'm gonna actually do a bowl lather
Splash of water. And gentlemen, I think that's good. Yeah, I'm pleased. I am pleased with it. Finally, <laughs> let's get to the shave. So yeah, you need like a degree in engineering to put this razor together. It is, uh, it's interesting to say the least, but there you go. The, the blades, the two blades are loaded up. Um, Man, the main thing I notice about this razor, it's made out of like a weird aluminum and it has like, it's not slick. This aluminum on top, as I, I gotta be careful of the blades, but as I rub my hand, it's not smooth. It doesn't glide across the face. It's just, it kind of sucks. <laughs> I paid five bucks for this on eBay. So you get what you pay for folks. Um, I just washed my face a few minutes ago off camera so no need to wash my face again i'll grab this bowl give it a quick little spin here yeah excited for the football season i always hope the best for the green bay packers even though i'm from texas always been a Packers fan and it's because of Brett Favre who that guy I wouldn't say he was my hero growing up as a kid but I liked the guy and I liked him as a football player but he turned out to be kind of a jerk like cheating on his wife or trying to like cheat on his wife there's like this allegation of him like stealing money from like welfare families. He just, he did the Packers wrong by like leaving and going to the Jets and then going to play for Minnesota. Like kind of a shady dude. I liked him when he was, when he was young and before he got a big head, right? Um, grilling brats. How is, how Wisconsin is that? We're grilling brats for today's game. Yeah, I'm gonna drink some Bloody Marys. My wife and I have started a new tradition. In the summers, we make margaritas, and then during the fall and winter, we make Bloody Marys on the weekends. Oh yeah, listen to that blade feedback. Yowzer. Believe it or not, it's actually cutting pretty well. Oh, I gotta get a, I'm gonna grab a bowl. I always use a secondary bowl for water, so one sec. <clears throat> yeah, something I always do, I've got this little metal bowl and I always have it. I fill it up and I kind of just dip into it for water. Uh, during my shave, I kind of wet my fingertips and get a little bit of water on the soap. I'm amazed. I'm getting a great shave. <laughs> it's been a very long time since I've used this razor. In fact, it's possible I haven't used it since that video I did a long time ago. I will say this, both both the blades in here, I, uh, I get good results with these blades. So maybe that's part of the reason. But just listen to that. Sounds like I'm scraping paint off the side of the house. As of right now, it's actually going very well. That's 
why you should never give up on gear in your shaved in. If, you're, if you have a couple of bad shaves, put it away for a little while and then come back to it. I'm, I'm shocked. I'm barely putting any pressure. And since this is an aluminum and plastic razor, it is it's very lightweight. And the um, my instinct, if you will, is to like push harder, even though I know that's definitely not what to do. Okay, all right, well, one pass down and actually pretty decent. Um, what else? The, the trees are starting to change. Growing up in West Texas, there really weren't many trees, hardly any really. And fall was always kind of weird because it still was often very warm. So it didn't really feel like fall and just a lot of factors led to very little like changing of the leaves. So it's actually kind of cool to live up here where the fall cools down. You've got more trees. It feels more fall like and it looks more fall like as you see the beautiful reds and yellows and oranges. That also means I have to rake the hell out of my yard. Not fun. Um, something interesting about leaf change, most people assume it has to do with temperatures. It has very little to do with temperatures. It's mostly the shorter days. It's known as the photo period. The days are getting significantly shorter here, well, not only in Wisconsin, but all over the Northern Hemisphere. As the sun angle starts to get less, the trees make note of that, and then they start to adjust by producing less chlorophyll. So sun photo period has more to do with leaf change than temperatures, just so you know. I've had people go, oh, well, it's gonna be really hot this fall. We're not gonna get much leaf change. You'll still get leaf change. Unless the sun does something different, you're still gonna get those leaf change. Now, one thing that can kind of screw up leaf change is if you get a very hard freeze followed by a lot of wind because that will kind of shock the trees. And their leaves will become like a little bit weaker and even like kind of brown and dry up quicker. And then the wind will blow them all off. But if you don't have a hard, hard freeze, then those leaves will change and make for a lovely fall display. Fall is my wife's favorite season. Mine is summer. And then it's kind of a tie between fall and spring. Um, I always enjoy
enjoy spring coming out of the winter. See those new little bright green um, buds on trees and plants? That always makes me happy. then fall is nice because of football <laughs> but then also just the cooler temperatures the pretty leaves pumpkins and stuff Halloween it's a nice nice change and it's a nice um, transition to uh, winter. Wow. Pleasantly surprised. This has been a great shave. I'm shocked. I'll, I'll start using this more. This little $5 weird Russian razor. <clears throat> You're going to see me next week. And I'm probably going to Monday morning quarterback the, the Vikings-Packers game. I'm going to be like, ah, oh, they should have done this. Should have done that. I guess even if the Packers lose, the Texas Tech Red Raiders won yesterday. They are unranked. And they beat the number 25 Houston, University of Houston Cougars, I think is their, or Panthers. Some sort of cat, <laughs> predatory wild cat. Um, they beat them in overtime. So that's good, because I'm a big Texas Tech fan. Um, yeah. Even if the Packers lose. There's always that. And I don't I don't do fantasy football anymore. I did fantasy football for many, many years going all the way back to college. I just get I get too worked up about it. I uh, I can't do it. Too much pressure each week. So my dad used to do fantasy football back before the internet. And you'd have to like look it up in the newspaper and they had a chalkboard because he's a retired firefighter they had a chalkboard up at his fire station and they would keep track of everybody's players crazy how they used to do that but yeah okay so there you go a rum shave with Clubman, rum aftershave, sweet rum aftershave, Colonel Conk, uh, uh, Bay Rum shave soap, and the Russian razor, the weird Russian razor, and finally, the Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Green Ray. Go Packers. Have a good shave, everybody.